Hi everyone, I'm Sophia Haver-Brock. Today I'm joined by Madison and Paige Governali, the founders of Wave Creations, a beachwear apparel brand. Madison is a sophomore in the Dolan School of Business. She's majoring in marketing and management, and Paige is a math major in the College of Arts and Sciences. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for for having having us. Of course, yeah. I'm so excited to hear your story and share it with everyone because you guys have a really cool origin story. So can we hear a little bit about how you guys started Wave Creations? We started during COVID because we were bored like everybody else. I was painting and doing all this creative stuff because I love art. And me and Madison decided one day we wanted to go to Michael's and get tie-dye because we just started upcycling all of our old clothing because we were bored. Um, So we did the tie-dye, and then we started making necklaces because we saw people making their own jewelry online. And we're like, we want to do that too. Mm -hmm. So we started posting these creations online because we were like, why not share them with other people? And at the same time, we were doing, we had a little graphic design business on the side. We made stickers for this, like, little Redbubble site. I don't know if you know what Redbubble is. Yeah, yeah. Probably bought from it before. Um, Yeah, we were drawing, like, characters, like, football players, I remember, like, or TV show Just people, people. like, custom requested for us. And we had a whole separate TikTok account for that. And we were like, oh, like, this is so fun. Like, why don't we do more graphic design? Like, I don't know. This is kind of cool. And we mm-hmm. kind of saw, like, how social media could, like, take off. Like, we we drew Noah Schnapp at one point, and he mm-hmm. commented on the video. And it was, like, oh actually God. so – I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, he It was saw really it. cool. So that's, like, the first kind of recognition we got with – it wasn't even Wave Creations. It was Redbubble, whatever stickers we called it. We were Specific. anonymous, but yeah. we, were, we were thriving. <laughs> how, <laughs> how many views did you get on that video? Do you remember? Like, did it go mil- viral? Yeah, it was, like, two million. Two million. million. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Our first viral video. But <laughs> but on technically a, a, se- a separate note. On a completely separate note, though, we kept that running as we were. So COVID shut down our summer jobs. We had nothing to do. Too much time. We're like, okay, let's just start tie-dyeing. Let's start making jewelry. Let's start painting. And that's basically what we did. It was kind of, you know, 2019, 2020. That's like the middle of like the whole Visco Girl era. So oh, guess, yeah. we were painting. We were doing I was chalk. a very big we Visco were, Girl. Yeah, you were. She used to make fun of me for it, actually. I did. Um, I was too. I had my like Hydro Flask, my necklace, like my Fuka yeah. Shell necklace. I still have my Hydro Flask. My scrunchies. So I, I had a whole package of those. Yes. Oh, my God. Um, so we actually started doing that, and I made a compilation video one day of like the necklaces and the tie-dye and the beach, because that was just the whole vibe we were going for. And it was like a rainy day in July, and I'm like, okay, Madison, I'm going to post this video to this trend that's like a texting trend that's totally not about what we're talking about but I'm going to make it for our niche and she's like no it's not going to do well. I originally thought (laughs) it was the stupidest video idea ever (laughs) and then you know sometimes those are what do the best so she's like no and then I I posted it turned off my phone and like a few hours later I'm like look what happened look look what's doing well yeah you doubted me we got our first order I think a few days later but this was was I think two or three months after we launched our website. So, like, it obviously didn't happen right away. But with the video, it actually helped a lot. Oh, my God. It took us so much time to, like, actually figure out just how to make an Instagram for the account. Like, obviously, we knew how to make an Instagram, but, like, how to get, like, the feed set up and all this stuff, especially when we were first starting. It was so interesting for us because we were like, oh, let's make another TikTok account. Actually, let's make, like, a fourth account. Oh, yeah. Let's try and make, like, this little side account. I actually... This is actually, I didn't, Madison didn't know this at the time, but I made a separate TikTok account because she's like, stop making new ones. I made a separate one, and that's actually the one that blew up. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) She didn't know. Like, I was like, for a week, I didn't tell her I was posting to this account, and this is the account that was blowing up. (laughs) And all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, so I didn't listen to you, and I did it, and it worked. So Sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to make the next account, you know? Well, now the two of us realize, like, sometimes we don't listen to each other, like, well, sometimes right it's now, infuriating, but <laughs> yeah, no. Sometimes, sometimes it's annoying. But now we listen to each other. But like back then, when we first started, we were like, "Oh no, I'm gonna post this video. You might think it's the stupidest thing ever, and then it goes viral, and then still same happens thing. now. It still mm-hmm. happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Like I'll be like, Paige, why did you post that? And she's like, Wait, watch it do good. And I'm like, Okay, okay. <laughs> Different perspective, which is just like the algorithm of like the TikTok and the Instagram, because like yeah. somebody might like something that I don't like, and that's the same thing between us. Yeah, yeah. But basically, ultimately, we started because we love the beach. We've grown up. Going to the beach. Um, On Long Island, which is later inspired one of our sweatshirt designs. Yeah. Um, my mom has a lot of family, like, in the Hampton Bays, like, South Hampton, like, on the Suffolk County of, like, Long Island, which is fun, cause all beach towns, stuff like that. So we kind of grew up all summer just going there and, like, chasing sunsets and, you know, being near the water. And that's just, like, our favorite thing. It's, like, such, like, a peace of mind place for us. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Close to Fairfield, too. Like, nice beach town. Yeah, so. yeah. 
Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I definitely relate because I grew up in New Jersey, right on the shore. So this is like a perfect brand for the beachy girl. Like, and yeah, that's so cool. It's such a awesome that like I feel like a lot of people did a lot of crafting and like painting when they were in COVID, but you guys actually like made something out of it, which is super impressive. Like, that's so awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So like for the logo and stuff, can you talk about that specifically? Like. What was the inspiration for the logo itself? Maybe I'll put a little insert yeah. a photo here of the logos. But we were actually working on the logo for startup like today. I was perfecting it, but we originally had a bunch of different things that were just like random script fonts. And Madison's like, "No, that's ugly." No, we hated, <laughs> we I hated our first logo. It's, it's all about like getting the logo to look good in an Instagram bubble or like the little circle. Yeah, yeah. So we had wave creations like stacked in like one font. Then we had it long, and then we had it. Like bigger on the top and then small on the bottom, which is what it is now. It's in a font of the. W- it looks like what waves crashing, like inside of the words, and like the the way the letters are set up, it's kind of like unique. And the A is like a triangle, so it's not really like the most basic font, but it's actually called Smile and Wave. So like it has the word yeah, wave in it, which I think is cute. pretty cool. So it's like cool. very happy, positive beach. I would say in the in the font. Originally, when we were making the logo, we had this scripted, just regular, like, basic With, like, some weird outline. We had a weird outline. I don't know. We, like, printed little sheets of those. Whenever someone bought something, we'd give them a sheet of our logo. Those those papers were, like, we were trying to laminate, but we were using scotch tape. Oh, my (laughs) God. Or, like, packing tape. Our original packaging really just... (laughs) If you go back to, like, that video that blew up, like, it literally, like, that was so crusty. Oh, my God. That's crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but since then we've really you know we've kept the same logo for the last three years now so almost four almost well no we didn't have it originally that exact logo we had the script for about a year and then we i think it was like it. a few months really you were like that was not around for a long time yeah we, we <laughs> knew we didn't like it we knew it had to be changed so this has actually gotten us a lot of recognition because people are like oh like with the crashing waves in the font. Like, it looks really mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Originally, you don't see it. If you have the logo all blown up, you do notice it. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And the color also is something that we have. Blue. All around our site. Like Not, like, it. too dark, not too light, but, like, the ocean blue that yeah. you can see in, like, Florida. Not here. Mm-hmm. It's too dark. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those little things are so important. Like, the exact font and, like, mm-hmm. the shape of it and the color. Like, it all goes to the aesthetic, you know? That's so important. What do you use to edit? Like Canva or Adobe Premiere? Like everything. It depends on Literally what we're everything. editing for, like a website banner. Maybe use Canva. Yeah. Or like, honestly, editing on Lightroom sometimes. The Lightroom, yeah. We have all these little apps on my phone too. Um, I did photography for a few years. Like I still do it. I still love it. But she's our photographer. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Um, but I did like more like creative photography in high school and then like that kind of, I was able to bring to this too, but I have all these like editing apps on my phone and then we have editing apps on our iPad. So we have like our drawing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then like, as you said, like Adobe and like Illustrator, all that fun stuff. So there's, there's a lot that goes into it, but Yeah. yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. And can you talk about what the progression is? Like, I know you just were talking about the packaging, but like, what does it come to now? Like, what was the progression? Um, so definitely starting with those weird packaging things. We had, like, some of those, like, scrunchy pieces of paper used to put in there. Um, now we definitely go for, like, branding and, like, business cards and stickers because we want it to be more personalized. Like, we wouldn't do, like, something called drop shipping because, like, it goes straight from manufacturer to customer. We want to, like, have, like, the personal, like, like yeah. tissue paper, sticker, like, business card. We get custom business cards with, like, our customers and, like, and the people that, promote us on the card so then people can see like how the products are worn the back has like a care card of like if you get jewelry how to care for it and like you get a special code on it on the back to come back and then it has like our message on the back too yeah we try to keep it very um clean packaging we're actually still working on our packaging now we want to add like for our pr we want to add custom boxes that say like wave creations Mm -hmm. and they're really like nice and you know more dressed up like right now we have blue mailers we have they're kind of like basic they're basic, we, but they are, wanna, it is our brand. Yeah. It is definitely on brand. So we want to kind of keep expanding upon that because we're really evolving at this point, which is good. Yeah. And we have so many other projects that we want to work on. So it's like, where do we start first? But a lot of progression there yeah, like yeah. since we started, for That's sure. That's really cool. I, if there's so many things to keep track of, like the packaging and then like worrying about the actual clothes yeah. and the social media. It's like, it's incredible that you're handling everything. It's super cool. And I guess like... And I bet you guys are proud of yourselves, like, seeing the progression, you know? Like, oh, 100%. You, you probably feel so fancy now, like, so um, 
like official. Looking back on some of those videos, I like feel bad. No, I know. I'm like, I'm like, we were packaging an order, and it was a tie dye pair of sweatpants, and. There was this video, I was, like, reacting to it the other day. I was, like, looking at it. I was, like, wow, this is something. Like, so my, one of my friends from high school sent it to me, and they're, like, wow, throw it back to 2020. And I was, oh like, can God. you not send me that, please? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Oh, yeah, talking about your friends, like, what do your friends think of this? Like, were they, like, oh, that's so stupid in the beginning, and now they're, like, oh, wait, now we take you seriously? Well, like, in the beginning, they didn't know. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning, the oh. first, I'm going to say three months, we kept it a secret. Because it wasn't really a thing. I mean, maybe we told one of our neighbors because she was helping us model something, but that's about it. No, we told her because it was her birthday. We had to give her give her a little gift during COVID. We couldn't go buy anything, mm-hmm. and we gave her a little necklace. And she was like, "Oh, where can I get another one of these?" And we're like, "Oh, actually, so surprise! Like we run a company, <laughs> um, but we didn't we didn't want to tell anybody for a bit because we were scared of like I don't know, especially like I mean we weren't in school at the time, but I was gonna eventually go back into school. Yeah, yeah. And it was like once we like went back, it was like kind of interesting because people yeah. like oh my God, sorry people have seen like our videos online and like nobody really mentioned it to me but i was in s- senior year madison was already here but i was in gym class one day and someone like said something to me and i was like yeah <laughs> i was like i've seen you on tiktok i'm like yeah, yeah you uh, maybe <laughs> yeah it's kind of awkward when people like because I kind of, I can relate because I post a lot of like podcast stuff and like yeah. I would put my face online and then people would see me and I'm like, oh, that's kind of embarrassing. But like, You're like right. Yeah. You know me from there. In, in this day and age, I don't think it's that embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are doing it. Now our exactly. friends are, I feel like our friends here are a lot more like supportive of it and yeah. then like they want to model. They want to come to the beach with us. They, they're buying from us and they want to support yeah. us. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah. Talking about buying, like, can you talk about like, I know you had a lot of people from around the world buying your stuff and also like celebrities like that girl like Lexi can you talk about that a little bit so we do a mix of PR and then obviously our sales so Lexi Hidalgo we'll talk about a little bit PR first was a influencer we reached out to about a year ago didn't really reach out we didn't reach out we made a video and we tagged her and we're like oh like let's get her to see this like people tag her you know maybe it'll be good maybe she'll see it a year and a half later she saw it and Paige and I were actually at work like in the surf shop we worked in Last summer, we were also working and doing the business at the same time last summer, just, you know, keep ourselves extra busy. Um, and I flipped my phone over, and I saw that she responded, and I went, oh. <laughs> and the two of us were like, no way, like, this is so cool. Like It was like we had to keep our phones in, like, the whole closet. So it was like me and Madison running back and forth, between, like, looking, like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. What's going on? Like, no way she saw it. Because we've been trying to get, like, in contact with her for years. Like, as soon as we started with our old – little logo yeah. we were like oh my gosh let's reach out to her like you know everybody loves her everyone loves like the beach and stuff like that so let's try she never responded to us obviously we were like what 200 followers thinking that we yeah. get you know someone with millions so i don't even know what like how many followers but doesn't really matter um we were trying at least we were trying yeah we were persistent and so Paige made a video about a year ago making one of our favorite necklaces it's a globe and she's very big on traveling and stuff like that and she actually wears a globe necklace and Her so podcast has like a worth like logo on it. So I had a necklace. It's called the Meridian necklace on our website. It's a light blue globe, like gold and light blue that goes onto the chain. And it's kind of similar to the one she wore, but it was, didn't have any color in it. So I was like, okay, I want to send this to you because it has color. And then it actually, she ended up posting it to TikTok, which is not what we expected at all. We were just excited to send it to her and she ended up posting a whole unboxing for us and we mailed with her the necklace, like a hoodie. Like, we tried, you know, giving some yeah. more things. And she did really show it all, which definitely was awesome. It was really, really, really cool. Yeah. So and It's interesting to see online with, like, people, like, sen- sending it to people because they, like, kind of, they built, you built a friendship with these people, like the micro-influencers, I would say. Like, yeah. like you continue to send things to them, they post it for you, or, like, they, like, say, like, like oh, like, when are you coming to, like, like we send to Florida. Like, when are you, when are you coming there? Like, we can work together. Yeah. Kind of. Oh, yeah, some people were like, oh, my gosh, let's, like, go shoot content together. And it's like, I don't know you. Person, but okay <laughs> like sure it's, it's interesting yeah so we did end up shipping um when we were first on our first website before we entered the like the shopify algorithm and analytics or whatever um we shipped to australia um what are some of the others France, ireland ireland um italy we've shipped a lot internationally and it's really cool to see and also most states too 
Um, have we? I think we them? have shipped to every state. If not, we're just like not, missing, we're missing like one Idaho or two. Or Iowa. Like I think we're missing like it's one of the I states. Yeah, um, or like yeah. South Dakota or something. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Wyoming or something, right? Yeah, now. Like, <laughs> we ship a lot to Florida, Utah, Texas, um, New England area, and California. And That's a, huge, a lot of beach California. Town spots. Long Island, we get all the people that want the Sunrise Highway sweatshirt, which is the Long Island sweatshirt. Um, we sell those in store too. So, oh yeah, talk about the stores too, like yeah. where you guys sell. So we're in, I would say, four, or five stores. We're working on getting another one right now. Um, so we started in some of the stores with the jewelry because it's like less of a commitment for the. Th- yeah, like the it's easier stores. for the stores to sell. Like starting, oh, oh, people are seeing this on Instagram. Oh, cool, like. Sure, I'll take like ten necklaces, see if they sell it, and then they're like, "Oh wait, these are actually like great. Like, yeah. why didn't you give me fifty originally?" I'm like, "Okay, hold on. You said you wanted ten. Like, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. But um, we're in a few different stores across Long Island. We're trying to expand our reach a bit more. People have been telling us to go to New Jersey, like the Jersey Shore. Definitely want to go to the Jersey Shore. Yeah, yeah, definitely have to go. Um, Florida, like Jupiter, like I don't know, just different areas that we're gonna try areas to go that to. We like, we're very. We go to Florida, we go to, like, Jupiter and Palm Beach. Like, we want to be down there, too. It's very much starting with areas that we have a connection to because it's kind of, like, what our designs are based off of. So, locally, it's easier to get into a store because we can go deliver the products to them. So, we're in two in Southampton and then Sag Harbor and then Bellport, which is, like, beach towns Mm -hmm. on Long Island. And how does it work with their, like, getting money from that? Like, how does that work with a small business and selling things? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Don't so right. we sell, like, wholesale. So they buy in bulk, and then, you know, the more they buy, the less expensive it is for them. But also, like, we still yeah. have to make it where we Resale can get. agreement kind of thing. Yeah, they, they, they kind of sign an agreement. Document stuff. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I, I know nothing about running, like, a business or selling. Like, I'm not a business student. Oh, yeah. When we first started, We're learning we taught ourselves. We yeah, we, we had to figure it out. Um, actually, one of the ladies that we spoke to in the first surf shop, they're like, do you even know what, like, a wholesale, like, like, do you, know how to, do you know how to wholesale to us here? And we're like, no, but we'll figure it out for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's fine. Like, we got it. Like, we'll figure it out. And, mm-hmm. like, my dad's really into it right now. Like, he's super excited for us. He's like, oh, my gosh, yeah, like, another store. Like, that's great. Like, look oh, at you guys. Yes. And we're like, yeah. Our like, parents are definitely very supportive. They're doing a lot of the shipping from home right now for us. We do the jewelry here. And then. Oh, that's so nice. That's yeah. so great that they're, sh- like, helping you. That's awesome. Yeah. They love it. They're like, oh, my gosh, like, these designs are cool. Like, everyone's liking it. Because yeah. they like to wear it, too. My yeah. dad loves to wear it. Oh, uh, repping uh, the merch. Like, yeah, yeah, always. That's yeah, awesome. A, um, no Wake Zone design, which is actually him on his boat, which oh, is wow. it's kind of special because it's, like, the boat we grew up going on and the water that we lived around, and it's he loves it. Every, so. design, <laughs> every design that we have has, a, a, like, a personal connection to us, which is, like, kind of makes it more unique our company like some people were like oh like what makes your design different than others like for us weeks like we're sisters we tell a story to that but we also tell a story like for example the sunrise highway sweatshirt we have i don't know if you've seen it yeah yeah i've seen um but that it it the highway we took to get to the beach when we were younger yeah so like Mm -hmm. that's like a connection and then no wake zone my dad loves fishing so we're like oh let's surprise him let's do something yeah like a surprise and then Oh. No, there's like the boat name, like it's very significant to us. So yeah, it's like kind of cool. Yeah. The boat names on the boat, which is pretty cool. No, oh. But nobody knows that yeah. when they're buying it. It's just like our yeah. own little secret, like fun facts. So yeah, Ooh. Um, you, uh, we're telling it on the podcast though. So yeah. you got to yeah. tune in for the fun facts. <laughs> yeah, and the other ones are more like simple. Like we have "Catch Me at the Beach," "Love You to the Beach and Back," pretty much just like universal beach terms. The other ones yeah. are more like design oriented. We're working on a Fairfield one, so yeah, we oh, are. Oh, really? It's in the works. Yeah, in the works. You hear it. You hear it first, guys. <laughs> right here. <laughs> That's Catch so me cool. at the beach. I actually drew on a post-it note in the back of class. Like I drew yeah. the concept of it down. I shouldn't have been drawing, but like mm. I was bored. And that design I made two years ago, like so senior year of high school. And then we're just bringing it back now because we made it more. When we used modern. to like use our Cricut machine, which cut out all, like, the vinyl and stuff, and we used to hand make all the sweatshirts. That was the first sweatshirt we came out with. We got rid of it when we started making, like, the Sunrise Highway design because we were getting it manufactured, and it was easier yeah. to for them to do that, and it was, like, our most popular design at the, at the time. We actually came up with the Sunrise Highway design. I'm pretty sure driving on Sunrise Highway. <laughs> oh. I think I was going to work, or me and Mass, and we were going we were to work. going to work, and we are like, wait, that'd be kind of cool. Like, people like the word sunrise. Like, that'd yeah, be even kind of, like, like attention-grabbing, you know? People that don't live on Long Island, like Sunrise Highway, even if you don't know what it is, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It sounds aesthetic. Like, it doesn't matter if you know it or not. Like, that sounds cute. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, I feel like the story, having a story 
having a story behind your brand is like really important and yeah, it makes it like more special and people people love a good story you know people love to be connected like hear the story behind something and you know definitely that's pretty i was literally just talking about that in class too that's so weird such a full circle moment lots yes. of full circles that's so awesome Look at that. can you talk about balancing work with school like what is your schedule like i know you have like an internship that you're doing talk about your scheduling and running a company while you're a student now having Paige here it's so much better um so we didn't release our sweatshirts like our manufacturer like i guess as many sweatshirts as we've been doing until summer this year so last year it was completely different we were just kind of doing jewelry focused like sales and we'd have our like weekly business call like over facetime Mm -hmm. now it's very different because the two of us are here we sell so much more with our sweatshirts and we're actually like starting to really pick up on social media which is really cool Mm -hmm. um i don't know like it's easier now that we're able to do it together because me me being at home last year, I was doing a lot of the work. She was doing a lot of the marketing. So it was like a collaborative effort still, which is what we do now, but it was very different. Um, I would say being here at school, it's definitely getting the timing because we're not in, we're in class at different times, and Madison doesn't answer her phone very well. So yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Not really. Um, so we do – Wednesday has been a lot of our business days like for a while. It was actually our meeting day last year too. So now we have um, – Wednesday is also my turbo day, so it's very interesting. But we have our startup meetings on Wednesdays, so we do take time before them. We sit in Dolan, like, for, and do the assignment, work on sending emails and catching up on orders beforehand. And I feel like Dolan is a very good environment for the whole business mindset. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It really, really is. We just sit there, and we're there for, like, two hours. We're like, okay, wait, we got to get all this done. But now I picked up my internship, so Tuesdays and Wednesdays I have a turbo went or Wednesdays. Tuesdays I also have the internship, but Wednesdays I have my turbo, and then I have internship, and then I have startup right after. Oh so it's like one thing after another, after another, after another. So like Wednesdays are crazy. She'll text me, and I'm like, Paige, if you text me right now, I love you, but if you text me right now, my head's going to spin off my shoulders. Like, I don't know what to do. So um, that's definitely an adjustment right now because we're trying to figure out a different business day or like different times to schedule because... Yeah. You know, instead of having our, like, two-hour slot where we're just able to do that, now I intern for two or two, three hours every Wednesday and Tuesday. So I'm like, okay, like, we got to find another slot yeah. to do it. But definitely scheduling is really important. I just, you know, discovered Google Calendars, like, this <laughs> semester. My best friend now. I'm, yes. I'm better at time management, so yes. that's good. Definitely we use some of our time on the weekends to do it, too. Like, we yeah. did some pitching contents contests in, <laughs> in like Bridgeport um in December and we did that on a Friday night and went well but definitely mm-hmm. takes time out of like I would say time we want to use to just be a normal teenager yeah but it's definitely different and I like it yeah I it's wouldn't a- trade it I I love the balance I love being kept busy I love making content editing videos like it's it's fun you know what I mean yeah and yeah. we get to do it together which is better too. yeah mm. That's so cute. Oh, my God. I'm definitely going to make that a little clip it. That's so cute. I love that. Oh, my God. But, yeah, yeah the that's cringing, the, the times I'm actually nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm a nice person. but No, you're so nice. I don't know what you're talking about. Although sometimes <laughs> she gets mad at me, and then she's not so nice. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the sisterly love. You have yeah. the sister bond. That's Banter, really cute. That comes more from me. But <laughs> It's yeah. funny because we were doing our startup, like, media. Like, we're taking pictures and stuff like that. Paige is like, you're not going to like how you look if you turn this way or something. <laughs> I just and the like, photographer, her. her jaw dropped. She was like. She's like, because she didn't know we were sisters. I'm like, okay, and I, it's said, okay. I can say that. I'm her sister. I, I made a joke and I was like, yeah, the sisterly love or sisterly love or something. And she goes, oh, you're sisters? Like, that makes sense. Uh, I was like, yeah, because yeah, like, I know. She would have said it's one of her friends. I she hope. was like, tur- we were like doing a, like a thing where I was turned around. She was forward to show that the sweatshirt is on on both sides. And I was like, you're not going to like that. So we switched sides. And, and she was like. Uh. And I was like, no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. You know. Okay. That's good that you know her. You know her good aside. You go her angles. Yeah, like yeah. We kind of finish each other, finish each other's sentences. Sometimes. Yeah, you do. It very, you compliment each other very nicely. That's good. That's good for, like, being on stage probably for the startup stuff. Like, you're going to be good at, like, presenting together. Oh, my God. She's going to be talking for me. I'm going to be so scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, you better speak. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do a really good job. Like, you have a good, like, back and forth with each other, which is good. Thank you. I feel bad yeah, sometimes, course. though, because I talk over her, but. 
Maybe. It'll... I mean, I feel like when I present, I talk over you. So yeah, like, that's fine. Um, we figure it out. We'll it works. It, it works. Very cute. Just the sisterly love, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. But with um, I'm like obsessed with Google Calendar too. Like you, I need it. If it's not written in my calendar, it's not happening. Like you know. I didn't have it for the last two semesters. Like I really, I never I don't seem knew to like use it. Calendar. What do you I use? Like do you like it. write it? Like what I do you have, do? I actually looked on TikTok. Like another thing I found on uh. TikTok. It's like this. If you go into Google Sheets, it gives you like a tracker so I, p- I write down all my assignments and then it comes in like a line oh. so it says i do that the too actually subject the assignment the day like and then you can click the little down arrow and press done in progress or completed and then the whole thing goes gray oh, so yeah. that's like how i track how my assignments are done because last year i had something called canvas which is a lot easier in high school uh-huh. because it gives you all your assignments and all your classes in one spot but blackboard is very confusing yeah. so i have to type it all out look through all the syllabuses and then or syllabi or whatever you want yeah, <laughs> but i yeah. think it's good to schedule meetings because you put like oh, it yeah, like yeah. lets you know like as the times go yeah, it's yeah, great it right. definitely helps because like on our wave creations email we can both see the calendar and like uh, when what is happening yeah that's where i know you're on instagram tiktok uh everything talk about instagram yeah. so we recently hit ten, hit ten thousand followers on instagram which is very exciting that's been our goal for literally two years very now g- big milestone since we started pretty yeah. much um we are on tiktok pinterest instagram main three platforms we have over ten thousand on pinterest just like instagram now and almost two hundred thousand on tiktok so the algorithms of people following on these different apps are very different because i feel like tiktok is more younger people just pressing follow because they see a video they like one time and follow yeah. you i feel like instagram followers are more committed to wanting to see your content and they'll they're following for a reason everybody's like looking at their ratio you know what i mean that's always still yeah. something people throw around so when we get like instagram followers we're like those are actually where our sales are coming from that's where people are engaging with us the most that's where we do little polls and flash sales and stuff like that so for us that's a really important platform and seeing it grow right now is like the coolest thing for us because yeah. you know we had trouble with that originally and then we became more consistent and you know with the new releases of our sweatshirts everyone's like oh my gosh this is so like perfect for instagram so we're like yeah this is good so definitely um instagram and pinterest are our biggest two right now tiktok is good we have the views aren't that great because i think the app is changing in some ways and Mm -hmm. we haven't adapted to the new ways yet or i don't know i feel like instagram reels are on the rise and people are going to watch those like more so tiktok is more of they're trying to become like a sales app oh yeah yeah. tiktok shop is kind of annoying but for small business it's not good because it's you know we're trying to sell a lifestyle and not just the, the product. product. So we're, we're trying to show the product yeah. at like a pretty sunset. And nobody sees that anymore because the algorithm's kind yeah. of, I don't know. Yeah, It's changing, but it makes you like tag the product. Sometimes you don't yeah. want to tag the product because people don't want to like, like, I remember I used to scroll on my feed and it'd be like all like the videos Sponsored with ads. like thousands of likes or a hundred thousands yeah. of likes. Now I open my for you page, it's like two likes. Yeah, ten yeah. Likes. So I'm like, that's so weird. It's definitely, I think the algorithm algorithm's a little. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's like they got rid of Universal, got rid of their rights. Did you see that? Like, there's no yeah. more music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. That's another conversation. That's but the yeah. whole. It's it's a it's a crazy thing. But for us to figure out all the algorithms, like we're always, you know, for Instagram, we're seeing what's changing. TikTok, we're seeing what's changing. Like, we give a lot of our, our beginning sales, initial sales, to TikTok because that's how we started, really, and yeah. then. Instagram was a secondary thing, and now it's the other way around. So, yeah. you know, just keeping it, maintaining a presence on both is good. But Pinterest you, is huge. Like You also, like, can't overdo it. Because I yeah. would say yeah. TikTok was different to where your videos were being pushed to more people because it was going to a video feed, and now Instagram is, like, the reels, they mess something up there, too, where you can you used to be able to post your reels to, like, a real feed to where your followers wouldn't see it. But now you have to post it to where, like, your homepage will see everything. And it's kind of mm. annoying because the people that had followed because they saw, like, a cool aesthetic video on their reels feed one day, and then now they're seeing us make a funny video relatable about me and Madison wearing the same sweatshirt, they're yeah. going to unfollow us because I think it's annoying. Yeah. Um, which is kind of sucks, but um, you see who your real followers are, and then you see people yeah. who actually want to support you and engage with your content mm-hmm. you and it's good that you understand it like i feel like it's good that you are even aware of it you know some people would just might oh. not be and then like they continue what what they were doing you know like i feel like it's good to be young and like on the trends and like it's yeah, good me explaining this to my parents is definitely interesting they're like why can't you just keep posting and like <laughs> do this i'm like, like no <laughs> oh my gosh my mom my mom is so funny she's like 
post a picture of like the meal we ate. like the they're like it's it's beachy themed or something like they're like I'm tag like, no, Taylor Swift like I'm she's like, gonna get you followers <laughs> I'm like, I'm like oh, no. oh my god <laughs> yeah it's weird because we had to teach ourselves this stuff and then my mom's like oh my gosh like tag Taylor Swift and she's in our comment section like adding Taylor Swift and we're like she's oh. not gonna see that but I really yeah. appreciate maybe I mean no, that's yeah. cute I guess it's cute love it's the cute. support she. Loves to repost our stuff, which is very yeah. cute. Oh, adorable. Shout out to their parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys want to get out of startup? Why did you join startup? So, okay. Last year at the career fair, I ran into Professor Huntley. And he, I was kind of like, you know, freshman. I was nervous. I was like, why am I joining all these clubs? I want to meet people and stuff. And he was like, are you interested in business? Like, are you interested in starting a business? And I was like, what if I have a business? <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean you have a business? So I was like, well, like, I have this little company with my sister and I, like, running, you know, she's home, but I'm here, like, maybe I'll do startup, and honestly, I didn't go to the first meeting last year. I was nervous. I just completely skipped it. I was like, ooh, I missed the meeting. Oh, well. Yeah. Then this year came around, and I was like, Paige, like, they have this great program. Mm -hmm. uh, Professor Huntley, like, I saw him again. He, he uh, remembered me from last career year. Fair, I remember. Yeah. He remembered me from last year. He was like, you were the, the girl last year who had a business, and you didn't come to the first meeting. Like, he remembered, exactly. And I was like, oh, yeah, right. So, Masson wrote me into it this year. Didn't did. tell me how many people would be watching us. Oh but um, we did get in, so we are competing in April, if anyone wants to come watch us, on April 25th. April Just 25th. join the crowd of people that will terrify me. Currently waiting on our media day pictures. We'll post those to our Instagram. Um, we're going to be on banners and Dolan and stuff. It's kind of scary oh my God. i'm gonna take it's a picture of myself on a banner though with myself next to it because i know yeah, we hilarious. gotta get that we gotta get that you have to you have to it's funny though because both of us were pretty like we weren't like i wasn't extremely shy in high school but i wasn't like look at me like i just wasn't like Not big like, on social media yeah. i wasn't big on any yeah. of that stuff so now to then be like presenting and like pitching a business in front of this many people i'm just like or like recognize no way is, you know what I it's mean? definitely yeah. interesting yeah Wow, that's like, cause cool. so cool. I don't really, like, ever know if people, like, have seen me before or, like, look at me like, oh, like, I've seen you online, but, like, you never know, and it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, now you're going to find out they're cool about it, you know what I mean? They're really, really yeah. nice, so that's good. Uh, now you're going to be, like, a campus celebrity, too, on top of everything else. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Oh I God. don't know how I feel about that, but, I mean, I guess that could be good. As so. long as people are wearing our sweatshirts, I'll be okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Yeah, it makes sense. I feel exactly. like a lot of people, when people f see them, they're like, oh my gosh, wait, you designed that? I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, I did like, that on a post-it note. Now you snap on yeah. your sweatshirt. Yeah. <laughs> Some of my Fun. friends like that I'm not as close with that I'm still meeting because I'm just starting here. But people are like, wait, you have, you have a company? And people like, like my friend like tells everyone about it. I think it's hilarious because I love it that she's like promoting it for me because I don't like openly tell everyone as soon as I meet them. Like, oh, I'm Paige yeah. and I run Wave Creations. They're like, no. what is that? So she does it for me because she thinks it's really cool and I love it. But people, someone told me the other day, she's like, you should just like talk about it more yourself. I'm like, I don't know. And then she, like people actually go on Instagram and look at it. They're like, what? You have followers? Yeah, they're like, what? They're like, like, you're yeah. like, you have a little bit of success here? Like, what's up? <laughs> That's like, so cool. And then like they follow it and then like, it's like a heart warming feeling kind oh of, yeah. that's so nice that your friends are so supportive like you yeah. need that you know that's awesome yeah. i make it my fun fact like when people like when i get to know people or when i'm talking to people i'll be like like eventually when i get to know them they're like oh yeah, yeah. like what's that sticker in the back of your computer i'm like oh that's actually my business my friends are like what like oh, I, yeah. I, I, I just met some people this year and i began like talking about it and people are just like yeah. why didn't you bring this up earlier like, we like, usually like, don't yeah. like introduce ourselves with that fact it's yeah kind of like yeah a, Later on in the friendship kind of thing. Yeah, that's like a that's like yeah. a, a little side fun fact, you mm -hmm. know. But mm -hmm. with startup, you know, more people are probably going to see it and be like, oh my gosh. But we didn't yeah. think we were going to get it originally when we did the pitch because we had to do like a, what was it, like an audition? Yeah, kind mm -hmm. of like an elevator pitch, which is like a short pitch, but it was three minutes. Um, Madison and I went like on a Saturday morning, also terrified, but we did it with our basic pitch deck of just showing products we have like some analytics of what we've sold already and like what kind of message we're trying to spread like the lifestyle mm -hmm. um i think we found out later that day or the next we day found out two days later they told us we'd find out a week later I think it was like the next day or something really oh, yeah remember. we were in the library and she like opens like our group chat with everyone and she's like oh my god i'm like what she's like we got it and i was like <laughs> oh my god it was cool it was really cool yeah. and the funniest thing was because they told us, they're like, oh, we usually don't accept underclassmen, so... Especially you know, freshmen meeting. 
Yeah. 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 They're like, so, like, don't get discouraged, like, if you don't get it. Like, yeah. you guys have a really cool company. Like, there's always next year. And we're like, okay, yeah. Like, we kind of accepted that we probably weren't going to do it this year. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. I opened my phone. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like. Yeah. That's so, so cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're so. working on building and we learn with them all through all the workshops that we do mm. and i hope everything goes well in april and i would really like to help businesses next year through the startup program and yeah. help them go through it too because even the different markets of people doing like services versus like consumer goods it's a very i feel like the competition right now is a very good balance of all of that yeah. and each pe- each person has a new idea every year so it's pretty exciting yeah. to see like what people come come up with because they don't always think the way we do like we came up with like the consumer good and like the selling part of it people like might come up with a service i might help someone too there's a bunch of different mentors we're working with some of them fairfield alums some people are just business owners and they just want to be are local involved. they want to be involved in some way so we keep seeing in our slack we have a little group chat and they're like another mentor has joined your team and we're like yeah. oh my gosh yeah mm-hmm. like that's pretty cool so it's interesting to see that all these people want to work with us and then maybe next year you know, because we're not going to be pitching again next year, but maybe next year we can mentor some yeah. students too yeah. and, you know, see, like, help them out and be on their team, which would be kind of really fun. Oh, we right. have a lot of fun doing startup. Yeah. And I hope it goes well in April. It, it will go yeah. well. Yes. It will. It will. Oh, my God. Yes, that's so exciting. We're working on our outfits and what we can wear to be mm. unique. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, don't. Because we did for our media day, we wore, like, the, like, black blazers, black bodies, like, that kind of thing. And they're like, where's the blue? Like, you're not wearing any yeah. blue. So Paige has this really cool pair of custom Converse. And our, like, mentors, like, if you don't get a, <laughs> if you don't get, if you don't match those Converse on the stage, like, I don't want it. I'm like, okay. They pretty so. much said to show up in sandals. And I'm like, mm, no. I have a better idea. Yeah, so we'll do the yeah. custom Converse, like, blue blazers, like, yeah. maybe blue skirt. Like, it's going to be very, like, we're going to try and, like, make it so we stand out in, like, a cute way. You know yeah. what I mean? That is super cute. we to figure out a way to get the, the audience, audience involved. involved. Yeah, mm. but we can't share too much coming on that soon. Yet. Yeah, oh. coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, I'm so excited for you guys. That sounds like an awesome thing. Thank and you. I definitely, it's definitely gonna grow your company. Like no matter what happens, you know. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yay. Thank you. I wish you guys yeah. luck. That's so cool. Um, do you wanna? Oh, what are what's some advice for students that? What are like, if like one big takeaway that you've learned from your whole experience doing wave creation so far? What is that? I would say. Working with something you're more passionate about is definitely going to keep you happier. If you have an idea, pursue that idea. If you really strive for something that you want to do, it will work out. If you give up, it's it's just going to... And, I mean, we have gone through bumps in different areas of where, like, we weren't posting and, like, we just thought it was going to end. But then we kind of really picked it back up and kept striving for it anyway and look where we are now. And we really want to keep building that. What I like to say to people is, on my phone background, I don't know if you can see it, but it's do what makes you happy. Um, Just keep doing something that, you know, that you love. Like, for example, you guys, like, you do your podcast. You love it. I'm sure it's super exciting for you, all the cameras, Mm -hmm. everything. And, you know, if we didn't, if we listened to the people, like, we had, like, one of our aunt's friends be like, oh, one of the girls going to get, like, a real job. Like, that was really discouraging. And so if we listened to people saying all that and, like, doubting us in different ways, we would have really never known how this could have worked out. So for other students who maybe want to start a company or maybe want to do something that they're scared to, just, you know, do what makes you happy and just try it, you know? Yeah, I really don't know where what I'd be doing instead of this Yeah, right now because I feel like having a business at a young age, especially starting it at 15 for me, was just, like, it's been most of, like, what I can remember before, like, yeah. COVID because I feel like so, so much changes changed in that 2020 year that, like, like, I don't know what else I would have been doing. Like, it's a very unique something for me to write on a resume or, like, I wrote my college essay about it. Like, mm-hmm. even if it wasn't me especially, like, applying, like, I didn't apply here for business. Like, I did math because it's something I, w- I liked doing when I was in school. But it's, like, a unique factor that I would say is, like, I took my creativity and made it into a business. And, it, like, especially working with Madison, who has, like, more of the business mind, like, I can take, like, my love for art and, like, really put it out there. Yeah. The two of us work in a really good collaborative way. Like, where I'll sketch a design. I'll be like, wait, I love how this looks. And then I'll have her take a different perspective on it. And the two of us just make, you know, another, like a wonderful design. So we're like, this is kind of like, you 
know, our dynamic together works really well. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm, like, this is such a cool, such a cool company, such a cool idea. So awesome. Like, definitely cool things on the rise. I, I like, yes. hopefully, like, in a few years, you guys are going to be, like, huge. Like, and then you'll have this to look back on, and I'll have you guys <laughs> on again. Yeah. Maybe I'll have like, you guys again, like, in a year or two and, like, see Flashbacks. where you're, yeah. Like, we should, like, show your, show your, inst- you know how Billie Eilish does that thing, that interview? Oh, my God, yes. interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we yeah. should, we should do that. And, like, you could, like, pull up your follower account and, like, we'll come back the next year. Let's look at it right now. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, let's, that, let's look at the socials, read, like, what the followers are, so and then plug them, too. <laughs> Instagram is at Shop Wave Creations. We're at 10.8K. TikTok is at Wave Creations, and it is 180,000 plus around there. And Pinterest, we are just Wave Creations LLC. You can find us there. And we have 10,000 followers and 1.5 monthly or 1.5 million monthly viewers on Pinterest. So well, you can find us in all those. Yeah, we'll come up from there in a year. We'll see where it is. Okay. That's weird to think about. Yeah, yeah that's, that's so, so cool. <laughs> it, I wouldn't have thought we would have been at um, 10K this fast. We literally three, two, three months ago had like 4,000. Yeah. Wow. It was weird. We just kind of went like on a rise and it was cool so that's so cool good stuff Yay. only up from here yeah that's what i like to think Hopefully. <laughs> that's awesome definitely okay. yeah <laughs> okay thanks so much for talking to me today this is so great great to have you guys on and i wish, we, wish you guys success for the future so exciting Yay. thank you thank you for having us this yeah was so fun shop wave, wave creations, creations. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute yeah <laughs>